right here we have the 2023 Indian Challenger. Let's put the windshield up a bit. We'll put it all the way up. Suspension from factory as good as this, I, I haven't felt yet. It's gonna come with 122 horsepower and 128 foot-pounds of torque. Getting on the highway is not an issue. another video guys today we're gonna to be reviewing this 2023 Indian Challenger we've had this bike in the garage for the past two weeks already and let me tell you it's been nothing but fun um, I absolutely love getting on this thing it's it's fun it's it's so nimble it definitely surprised me and it ended up being better than what I expected now in today's video we're gonna be reviewing this bike what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do a walk around go over some of the key features on the bike and then we're gonna take it on the road and give you that on-road experience as we're riding down the road. Now, yes, if you see the elephant in the room, there is my 2021 Rogue Live Special in the background. Uh, be very patient. We're gonna be doing a side-by-side -side review on both these bikes. That should be coming up in the next week. Now, let's start this review. Right here, we have the 2023 Indian Challenger. My first time on the Challenger ever. I've never been on the Challenger and I was super excited to get on this bike and actually try it out and see if it was as good as they say. Now let's talk about the V-Twin Power Plus engine that this has right here. This right here from factory is going to come with 122 horsepower and 128 foot-pounds of torque. A lot. So with the Rogue Glide, you will have to do a stage two in order to get that type of power. A lot of power, liquid cooled. Um, with that being said, the engine does run really hot. I, I was really surprised. I thought that it being liquid cooled, it wasn't gonna get as hot, but it, it, it gets really, really, really hot. Now it is a very smooth engine. Um, as you're switching the gears, you definitely feel that click, that clunk when you're switching throughout the gears. But as far as the transmission, everything flows really, really smooth. Um, super fun to get on this bike. Ton, a ton, and a ton of power. And it just feels like the more power, the more throttle you want to give it, the more power the bike wants to give you right back. So I'm really happy on the performance part when it comes to the engine. Now this bike is going to come with a six gallon gas tank right here. Um, pretty cool little detail that I like. Um, right here in the right pocket, there is a button for you to uh, lock or unlock your your tank uh, cap, which is pretty cool because, I mean, you don't want people stealing or siphoning your gas. People still do that. Right here for the infotainment system, you're going to have that 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system. Real clear, real easy to use, real user-friendly at that. I like the gauges on top right here. I think the gauges where they're located look awesome i really like the way indian designed their whole infotainment system right here it just looks really nice it's dead on your face easy to read now heading towards the front we're gonna have this big fairing right here so this bike sitting next to my road glide this bike just seems bulkier it seems bigger but i guess that's just because of the design of the fairing right here it's just it it, it just it does seem bigger and broader um, I like the way they integrated the lights in the front. You're gonna have LED lights all here in the front. You're gonna have the LED strip right here on this Indian head logo on the front fender, which looks pretty nice in the nighttime. I really like the way they did that. Um, but I really like the design of this bike. I was a huge fan of this bike when they first released it. I thought the design was pretty cool. I know there was a lot of hate between the Indian and Harley, the Harley owners who ha already had a Rogue Glide, and they basically say that this is a copy of that. Um, I'm not gonna say it's a copy of it, but I mean, there are some similarities, but they are so, so different in a way. And it's just, it, it, it's, this, this right here is its own thing. I mean, other companies out there do similar stuff. BMW does something similar. Honda with their Goldwing. I mean, there, there's just several companies out there that have just big bagger bikes. Now, the, uh, the windshield on top, the adjustable windshield, 
I like the fact that you can raise it up. The first day that I picked up this bike, it was pouring, it was raining, it was just coming down on me, and I raised that windshield all the way up, and it was just kind of keeping all that rain off of me, keeping all that wind off of me as well, so I'm a really, really, really big fan of that right there. Down below right here, we're gonna have a 19 inch front wheel, 16 inch wheel in the back right here. I really like the design of this wheel right here. I like the red touch, the red uh, rim going around the wheel right here. That was a nice solid touch. It's just really, really nice. This is how you know that you're gonna have a limited. So th this is the limited version of the Challenger because it's gonna come with that uh, red lining strip on there. Um, the wheel design. Now when it comes to the brakes, you're gonna have Brembo brakes on here. Uh, dual disc front, uh, disc rotors in the front. Um, stopping power right here is amazing, it's immaculate. You're gonna have a lot, a lot, a lot of stopping power right there. You're gonna need all that stopping power right there where you're gonna have all this power from factory right here. Now heading down right here, you're gonna have this massive radiator. It is a big radiator, um, but it, it's, I, I feel like they kinda hit it really good it, it kind of just flows down the line of the bike and it just it, it doesn't bother me it really doesn't now making our way to the back you're gonna have these bags right here for some reason um i, I feel like these bags let me unlock this so that's another cool feature right now i said before that you could lock the the gas tank but you can at the same time when you unlock it you also could unlock your bag so unlike harley davidson where you only have locking features on a cbo this brings it on this bike already. So you can lock your bike, your bags, unlock your bags, unlock your gas cap, which is pretty cool. And you can also do that from this nice little key fob right here. You're gonna have your lock and unlock button right there. That's pretty nice. When it comes to bag storage, for some reason, I feel like this bag is massive. I feel like it has a little bit more space than the bags on my Road Glide right here. Just, it looks really, really, really big. You are also gonna have a nice little option inside to, to charge yourself. There is a USB charger in there, which if you wanna connect the device and have everything charged. Now we spoke about the engine, we spoke about the brakes, we spoke about the bag, the six gallon gas tank, the fairing. I think what we gotta do now is just take it on the road and finish talking about everything else. Now power button is right here. As you can see, you power that on. You can see your Indian motorcycle logo right there. Your gauges light up, um, then to turn it on, off. Another similarity between this and the Road Glide is you're gonna have that right pocket right here, left pocket right there for you to just put some belongings in there. Uh, you're gonna, if you wanna fit a pair of glasses, your phone. On this side, you're gonna have your connectivity. So if you have an, uh, an iPhone charger, you connect it to there, you connect your wire. Um, charge your phone and then you can also connect your music on that kind of like Apple playing away uh, so you have access to play your music on there you can also connect your phone by Bluetooth as well so that's pretty good now as far as controls you're gonna have your power button right there on and off switch you're gonna have your cruise control button right there and then this button right here is to control your windshield if you want to go up if you just press it twice down it goes down automatically by itself so that's pretty nice. Um, high beam, low beam, your horn, turn signals. Uh, this knob right here is for your music. And this right here controls anything else around the screen. Now you're also gonna have this little trigger button right here, which is gonna change everything on the screen as well. In case you wanna see something different. She's a little dirty. Definitely wanna wash her because I'm gonna definitely have this bike for some time and I wanna, I like having my bikes nice and clean. So we're gonna be doing a nice little, nice little bike wash here. Look at those LED lights, man. You're gonna have LED lights from factory, turn signals, LED turn signals right here. LED turn signals in the back as well, which hardly doesn't provide that for you. You need to buy LED aftermarket parts. I really love the design of the integrated turn signals in the fairing. I, I really like that. Now, another key feature this bike has is riding mode. So if you press the Indian logo right here, it's already on sport, but you're gonna have sport, you're gonna have standard, and you're gonna have rain mode. I tried out rain mode, it works really well. If you, now, if you wanna know the differences between all the riding modes, rain mode is obviously for rain but it also tames the bike down. This bike has a lot of power, so for anybody that doesn't want all that power, put on rain mode, it definitely tames everything down. Now, standard is just standard mode. It just feels like a standard bike, but with a lot of power. And then sport mode is sport mode. <laughs> and that's why you put it 
on sport mode now right here in this gauge on the left i'm gonna see my fuel range i have 161 miles left on this tank um but from what i hear um you could get a lot a lot a lot of miles more than what's expected on a full tank so maybe we could put that to the test one day now like i was saying before switching into gears it, it, the transmission just does a such a nice job it's so smooth it's like cutting butter with a knife and it's just so nice and smooth it is weird because you kind of you hear that clunk but as as far as it switching into gear it's, it's so smooth one thing we got to talk about is like the the weight distribution on this bike i mean it's a heavy heavy bike it's a it's a bagger my rogue life feels immensely heavier than what this bike feels right here i was so surprised of how easy it was to maneuver around the garage and how light it feels and even just throwing her around it's just she feels great i mean i, I don't know if it's just the way where or how they mounted the engine or or how all this weight is distributed throughout the frame but it, it just feels like a lighter bike it feels really 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 light and i'm 57 so the bike does have a nice stance to it i'm able to flat foot this bike so me on the shorter end on a heavy bike you know it, it feels good to flat foot it on my bike i'm like almost like tippy toeing it but that's because i also switched out my suspension on there so it is a lot taller and now that we're talking about suspension this bike comes with an inverted front end um that's what kind of helps you throw this bike around especially when you're hitting those twisties you're able to kind of get really into those corners and it's so nimble but then you're also going to have that rear um one shock from fox yes you're going to have fox suspension on here which a lot of you guys don't know that but it feels great it feels really really comfortable i would if this was my bike to keep i don't think i would switch out the suspension because it just feels really really good suspension from factory as good as this i i haven't felt yet um now that we're talking about comfort and all that stuff as well the seat for this being a stock seat it's pretty wide it's really 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 comfortable as well i was surprised i hate the stock seat that harley davidson uses on their bikes because they just feel like blocks but the stock seat i hear it has like such a nice gel pad feeling to it and it feels great like you could just you just want to ride all day i don't know if that guy was going to come in or not in the corner very nice in the corner very nice again lean it over getting on the highway it's not an issue because there is lots and tons of power and she just floats man she really just floats I mean the suspension eats up anything on the road any little bump any any anything that's ahead of you is going to absorb everything so well and it just eats it up now when it comes to the ergonomics of the bike comfort wise on the bars really really comfortable are these my style of bars hell no i would change these bars asap that might be the first thing i do on this bike besides an exhaust it's just the bars i'm a t-bar type of guy and I, i've seen the options they are out here for this bike and that that's what i would do now you might be asking yourself well are there t-bar options out there for this bike yes they are but we're, we're, we're gonna do a video just on that alone because i think it's a really good subject for us to talk about um and give you guys some options for those of you guys who either own a challenger or are interested in getting a challenger and that's the type of riding style type of feel you want to have on your bike yes they are t-bar setups you can do on this bike it's like the more throttle you want to give this bike even in corner she just wants she wants to ride in that type of style that's what this type of bike is feels great 
let's put the windshield up a bit. We'll put it all the way up. Definitely stops more of that wind off of you. I already feel myself, I hear myself better talking in my helmet as well, just by putting that windshield up. I feel like it just creates a big, huge bubble right, right here. Like there's, I feel nothing right here, look. There's no wind right here whatsoever, nothing. Right here, yes. Right here, nothing whatsoever. The mirrors are actually really nice. They don't vibrate. Now, when it comes to audio on here, you're gonna have these two big speakers right on each side. I like the way they designed this, man. It's just, it's different from the Road Glide, man. It's different in every aspect. And being different is good, guys. It's, it's good. Um, if you see this unplugged right here, that's for your trickle charger. So that cover is right there. That's really nice. Um, and this is just an Indian logo right there. It's like, look, you're on fifth gear, and if you want like more power, you pull in the throttle, and that power is just instantly there from a stock bike. That's what's so so impressive about this bike is that you have all this power, all this tech, all the suspension upgrades from stock. Now this is the limited, so this is basically what you'll compare to a Road Glide Special, like the bike I have at home. So this bike is gonna run you around $28,000 or so, that's what it starts at. Now if you wanna change your color, there are two other different color options. I know there's red and there's that two-tone, which blue and black, that's gonna be a little more. Then the blue and black is gonna be $29,999. Um, so, I mean, not, not bad at all because if you want a two-tone color option for Hardy Davidson, it's gonna, it's gonna be a lot more than that. I know my bike was. Now, when it comes to fit and finishes, this is where I think Indian still has a lot of work to do. There's quite a few things on this bike that I, I kind of don't like, and it's because it just feels plasticky. It feels, it, I just feel like they, they could have done and they could have used the better materials. Like, for this cluster right here yes it looks nice it's all chromed out right but it's, it's it's plastic i think on a bike like this they should be using more premium materials maybe making this part of the fairing right here gloss as well might make it look a bit more premium if all this was glossed out the bike would probably look a lot better as well just as far as the infotainment system right in the cockpit I, like little stuff like that to me kind of kind of stand out. I don't like the chrome pieces right around the lights in the front. I think you could have just blacked that out as well and it looks really nice. Kind of like on the Dark Horse. I mean, the Dark Horse is the one that comes with the all blacked out package, everything is blacked out. But yeah, the, the lights in the front here, just, just leave that all blacked out, man. It'll clean up the bike a bit better. These chrome trims right around the speakers, I don't like that, it just, you know, it, it doesn't look classy. It, it really doesn't. And I know that they probably wanted to go for like a classy feel and it, it just doesn't. It kind of, in my opinion, it kind of cheapens things up a bit. I just don't like it. I, it. And that's just me. You know, someone else might like that. I just don't like that. Now what India needs to do is to add and work with their parts and accessories department to offer more parts, more accessories, more add-ons to the bike. There's a lot of things that I would do to this bike. I mean, it, they, they are probably, you know, they are all aftermarket parts, but I mean, we'll, we'll that, that'll be his own video as well, because I want to go over everything that I would do to this bike if this was my bike. Um, and I have a full list at home of what I would do to it. More performance driven, just, you know, just everything with my taste. Look at that, like she just dives in and she wants to be thrown in these twisties. Like she just, any chance you get to turn on this bike, she just wants to get thrown in there. <clears throat> now you are gonna have navigation on here. You're gonna have Bluetooth connectivity, like I was saying, a lot of cool stuff you're gonna be you're gonna have access to see anything and everything through that screen about the bike as well. It's a great bike, man. It's If, if you're looking for a bagger and you're, and you're already looking into getting an Indian, this is the bike. This, this is the bike right here, man. 
I choose this all day over the Chieftain. All day. And the Chieftain is actually a very nice bike. I've actually been on that bike. But this right here, this, this is just a better, better option, man. You're just getting so much for your buck on this bike. I don't like the, the rear fender, I gotta tell you that. I think the rear fender sticks out too much. I, I put my hand in there, I'm looking at it, and it's like there's such a so much space between the rear fender and the and the tire as well. And it's like this rear fender does not need to be this far out. It really doesn't. And, and if it was up to me, I would probably chop uh, uh, a big portion of that fender. I think redesigning the fender, redesigning the back. The, uh, the, the front part of this bike looks amazing. I, I love it. The back part, uh, I think it needs a little bit. Anyways, we spoke about comfort wives. We spoke about the tech, everything the bikes comes with. It's, it's a great bike. You know, for it being a stock bike, <laughs> it makes a pretty nice noise. You're gonna have a dual exhaust system in the back. <laughs> and she feels great. She sounds good. For, for them to be stock pipes, they, they sound pretty good. Anyways, I think that's gonna pretty much conclude the uh, review. We went over comfort. We went over the tech on the bike, suspension, comfort on the seat. We spoke about the bars. We spoke about the digital gauge in the front. We spoke about the wheels, the engine, the shield, the windshield, and all the little stuff as well. If you think I missed anything, drop your thoughts in your comments down below. Or if you want to see me cover anything in specific about this bike as well, drop your thoughts in your comments down below. I really want to hear what you guys gotta gotta say about this bike. And if you are interested in this, trust me, go out there, just throw a leg over it and ride her you're gonna fall in love this bike might be just as good as that roguelide you've been wanting i'll tell you that and that's coming from a roguelide owner i'm gonna leave you with that anyways if you want to see more content like this you're definitely in the right place go ahead like comment subscribe hit that bell button that's the order to follow you anytime i upload any type of new content there is a lot of more videos coming between this versus my roguelide a lot of separate videos just topics on this bike as well like always guys let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.